One of the biggest problems that we faced uh, when we arrived was the uh, historic facilitation from the south, the Pakistan border in uh, Baramcha and the movement of fighters and weapons north into uh, Garmsir and then up the Helmand uh, River Valley. These are traditional smuggling routes, routes that the uh, Taliban had uh, taken advantage of to enable them to move their fighters and their equipment with uh, relative ease. And when we arrived in March, 1st Marine Division already had a plan to uh, go down there and dismantle this uh, facilitation node and to uh, interdict the uh, route uh, from the south. So they planned uh, an operation, they handed it off to us and we executed. In fact, uh, D-Day, if you will, was the day that we transferred authority here between 1st Marine Division and 2nd Marine Division. And I think it's important to note that you know, we were able to uh, sustain execution of that operation. We were able to uh, execute a seamless uh, transition with the uh, 1st Marine Division. We always talk about the fact that we stand on the shoulders of uh, those that have gone before us. And in this case, we were able to maintain uh, the momentum that they had gained over the course of uh, several months in the past uh, year uh, that they were here. So even as we rotated uh, headquarters, we never stopped our operations. So the day we assume command, we've got forces, uh, third LAR down there along the Pakistan border. Uh, they conducted uh, operations clear in the bazaar for three or four days uh, down there. Then they pulled back uh, from the border and established a patrol base. And we maintained continuous pressure and uh, interdiction in the south for the next uh, eight months with the uh, LAR units rotating down there and uh, continuing to disrupt that uh, facilitation. As we're finishing that clearing op and establishing that permanent presence sort of simultaneously, RCT-1 begins uh, disruption operations in Garmsir, Nawa, and Marja. And uh, RCT-1 with four battalions executes about 45 days of uh, disruption uh, leading up to uh, May, which is the historical start of the fighting season. And the complementary effects between the LAR operation and the sustained presence and the interdiction in the south and the disruption up there in Nawa, Garmsir, and uh, Marja as we approached what would be the traditional beginning of the fighting season, really just smothered uh, the enemy and dismantled uh, any potential uh, that they had to begin and execute what they would call the spring offensive. So what we saw last year in May and June was no real spring offensive, no beginning of the fighting season as they had witnessed in uh, the spring of 2010.